So apparently there's a problem with black YouTube and I want to figure out why because obviously I'm black. So we're trying to figure out why there's a problem. Shout out to Cameron for this video that we're going to react to. I'm going to let the video play and we're going to go from there. Rubbing my brick on my friend to see how she reacts. She touched it. What the fuck? There's a problem with YouTube, specifically black YouTube. Black YouTube sucks. When it comes to black YouTube, I feel like there's two sides. There's one side with these amazing content creators like Corey X Kenshin, Verlizzi, AMP, RDC, and many others. And then you got this other side with these creators that don't care about their content at all. All they care about is the money that comes with and YouTube. And all their videos are just based around sexual yeah. things. One side is like that homemade burger that takes hours to make. And the other side is like that $2 McDonald's burger burger that tastes good for about five minutes but the next day you feel like absolute it's kind of like yin and yang you know and in today's video i'm going to be talking about that other side of black youtube the terrible side now when it comes Sheesh. to the black community and content creation i feel like every single idea can't just be a normal idea you know there always has to be some sort of sexual spin or outlandish. you can't just do a normal truth or dare it has to be Out a freaky truth or dare you can't just go on a blind date it has to be a freaky blind date the other day i literally seen a video titled i put my freaky ass parents on a blind date we are getting to the point in content creation where we're putting our parents on Yo. blind dates and it has to be freaky that is absolutely weird if i'm being honest with you another trend that's pretty big in the black community are 20 v ones these videos hit the black community harder than crack in the 80s i can't tell you how many black content creators i've seen milking the absolute life out of 20 v ones now if you don't know what a 20 v one is when i tell you listen it's annoying. Annoying as hell. Don't get me wrong. I'm not... You, you make your money. Make your money. You, you, that's your hustle. I don't knock anybody's hustle for sure. As a consumer though, that shit's annoying. It's cringy as hell. And it's just... I've never really had any type of interest in it i've never was really like i seen this what is it um the loyalty test where a dude is pretty much testing the loyalty of two best friends and and whoever's boyfriend or whatever i mean two minutes after watching it i just wanted to like just close the laptop and and freaking walk away but it's the fact that I wasn't watching it necessarily. It was off of my homegirl's laptop. She was watching it. And I'm, I'm not going to lie. I felt like I was losing brain cells just watching. And growing up, I just never really watched that type of content. I never found it entertaining. I never found it funny. I found it as cringe as some TikTokers is well it's basically like a speed dating show where 20 people speed date one person and by the end of the show that one person picks their favorite out of the 20 people i'm pretty sure this video idea was like created by jubilee popularized by the sidemen and then the black community just yeah. took it by storm now don't get me wrong there are some genuinely funny 20 v ones out there but then you got channels out here who are posting 20 v ones every single week for example no love mar now if you don't know who no love mar is well he's a pretty big black no, no. youtuber who has has one I've seen his face though. Million subscribers. But when you take I've a look at this man's around. channel, basically all TikTok, of his videos of are 20 v ones. I wouldn't be surprised if this man changed his name to Cupid. The way he's helping out everyone find love. I wouldn't be surprised if this man did a 20 v one with the whole entire United States for his next video. Honestly, at this point, this man should put me in a 20 v one to help me find some action. Like, come on. And what's crazy is that this man is so <laughs> obsessed with 20 v ones that he literally jumped another YouTuber because they made a 20 v one with Krishan Rock, and he wanted to do that idea of first i mean there's literally entire videos of him and his crew just pulling up to their studio them beating up the other guys and them taking the camera and the footage so it doesn't get uploaded to youtube number one what happened to shame who genuinely wants to speed date the snaggletooth demon what are you serious bro bro it does not get that serious it does not get that serious that's what happens when you're too focused on views and too focused on on trying to get money. It, it, I don't know. Mm. Mm -mm.
in Krishan Rock. That woman is literally the embodiment of a Neanderthal. And number two, why are you out here jumping other YouTubers? Because they're about to upload an idea before you. Just be more creative and make something other than 20v1s. And maybe you wouldn't have to result to jumping people because they make the same style of content as you. Imagine if Moist Critical got to a top. It don't even matter. I fought him because of that. Pause. Message. It don't even matter. It don't even matter if they did make the same video. It's not that serious. Oh my God that the stupidest thing ever like it just doesn't make sense at all and what's even worse is that before every 20v1 Not that this all. man does he promotes this scam where apparently you're supposed to get 750 dollars cash app from clicking the link in the description but you don't it just takes you to one of those sites where they have you fill out all of those tedious surveys and you get nothing from them i mean there's literally entire videos on youtube exposing these scams he gets the money because he gets paid from people clicking the link but you as a viewer you get nothing because i mean why would cash app just give you 750 Fifty dollars they would be broke if they just decide to do that it just shows how greedy of a youtuber this man is but i'm pretty sure that was already pretty evident you also have this other youtuber right here named real x sean and basically a bunch of his videos are just 20 v ones i mean nothing really else but this man also he spams that link in the description with that 750 dollar cash app that you're never oh, gonna get God. and then you got another and i never fall for it right here named ryan I never fall for it. and he also spams that link in the description with that 750 dollar cash app and what's also crazy about these 20 v1 youtubers is that there's literally no originality with any of them the only difference is the people in the 20 v1s the intros are all the same the editing is all the same hell even the freaking personalities of all these youtubers are all the same even the freaking scam in the video they're all doing the same 750 dollars cash app scam even the scam in the video is the exact same these dudes are literally made in a freaking laboratory bro like they're just printed every single freaking week every week i see a new up-and-coming 20 v1 youtuber what's also crazy is that these dudes will have young people in their 20 v ones which is very sad for you guys that don't know there's this rapper named la tyler and he's 17 years old and the youtuber no love mar he made a video with la tyler he made a 20 v one and it's disgusting if i'm being honest with you how you feel about sex on the very night i don't think it's bad like if both of y'all vibing with each other you peep the vibe we grown we grown there's a bunch of grown women in there asking a 17 year old if he's husband material which that's completely wild to me i mean the man's not even college material he's not even that's past high school what do you mean is he that's husband wild. material that's just odd and you can't say no backlash. Close to 18 but at the no, end no of the backlash. Day, if you sleep with a 17 year old that is illegal but what's even crazier is that there's 20 v1s with lil rt and for y'all that don't know lil rt is a nine-year-old rapper but he's not like the main character in these 20 v1s he's like that little assist character that you have in freaking in mortal Kombat, when you spam l1 i mean as you can see right here there's literally a video called i found love from the help of lil rt why do you need a nine-year-old to help you find love you also got the youtuber king sid <laughs> who's also been doing many videos with lil rt and he's not doing them in like the right way he's just basically promoting this kid's bad behavior i mean he literally did a video named lil rt swipes 20 guys for his mom and in the whole video this man is literally just cursing and everything right in front of his mom which is pretty crazy if i would have cursed in front of my mom i would be here making this video today if i'm being real with you but yeah i just find it odd how these guys literally have real. videos and the whole idea of the hey, video is nah, to sexualize nah, young person I, I, I mean that's just pretty crazy another style of content that's pretty big in the black community is face-to-face -face smasher passes which these videos are also pretty unbearable to watch if you don't know what this is well it's basically a bunch of grown adults getting lined up and one by one they basically go through these lines and say smash or pass to the person they're standing right in front of it's pretty sad when you really think about it if i had to sit here and watch this for just, 30 minutes just going through him. he's just explaining about these videos and i'm already just want to click away and <laughs> and watch something else it's that bad it's i agree some some of them are entertaining but for the most part I, it's it's just I it's, I feel like I just get stupider. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's it's not entertaining and it's it's I don't know.
I'm not gonna lie. I probably wouldn't even make it through. I would lose freaking all my brain cells by the fifth minute of this video. But yeah, that's another style of content. With you, you hear me? It's pretty stupid. You hear me? I mean, imagine giving birth to a child just for them to participate in a face-to-face -face smasher pass. And like I said earlier, a lot of black YouTube, their content just revolves around just extremely horny content. Public interviews. I mean, you know, the whole gay son or thought daughter thing. Find your match, which is just basically they get a room full of people and they just try to find their matches and stuff. Overall, my problem with black youtube is that number one it's just unoriginal everybody's just copying off each other and expecting to become the biggest black youtuber of all time with zero originality which is absolutely crazy and number two all these videos are just based around these sexual concepts for kids to click on them and then once these kids click on them they're just going to freaking promote these little scams and stuff like the 750 dollar cash app scam just so they can get paid overall black youtube is just down atrocious right now and it's honestly sad to see bro no, yeah this is gonna wrap up the video Cook. if you guys make this far i appreciate Cooked. you if you guys enjoyed this video then i highly recommend you guys check out my most recent video it'll be somewhere up here on the screen but yeah with all that being said thank you guys for watching it's cameron and i'm out that's that's bad that's 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 bad not that one person is doing it or two the the, the fact that multiple people are doing it and it's sexualized it's nothing but carnal bs like i said earlier like growing up I wasn't really of a YouTube person to begin with. I didn't watch YouTube like that, like my for entertainment. But if I did watch YouTube, it was never that. It, if anything, I aspire and admire the black YouTubers like AMP, RDC. The reason why they're great and the reason why they are who they are is because they make great content. Good, great content. I like those black youtubers those other black youtubers that's just just cringe and that's that's literally proof that they don't give up they don't care they only care about the views and the money the whole gold digger pranks wasn't entertaining to me the whole loyalty test none of that was entertaining to me I wanted to steer away from even making reaction videos just because I felt like everybody's doing it, which everybody is, but it is a big part of YouTube. Reaction videos is definitely a big part of people's channels, their YouTube, and their growth. It's it's a way to get your name out there and for people to know who you are, your your brand, your name, your face. So I it's just inevitable for me to start making reaction videos but if i had to do any of those type of content just to make it in youtube i wouldn't be doing youtube i promise you that that's i feel like that's still high school shit in my opinion that's that's still high school stuff again shout out to cameron for that video if y'all want some some laughs if you want to if you want some laughs i got a video right here that you can go to that's it for this video though i'm, I'm done ranting